Hi, my name is Mike Matthews. I'm the airport director for athens Clark County, Ben Epps Airport, and you're watching Snapshot 6. This video will take a look at some of the efforts of the unified government for this month and then also some of the efforts that we've made on the uh, rehab of runway 927. The second phase of work on athens Ben Epps Airport's nearly 40-year-old runway 927 is nearly complete. The overall rehabilitation project started in July 2018 to improve the safety of the runway for pilots and passengers. After the first phase was finished in September, work stopped until November during the airport's busiest season. During the work, air traffic was diverted to the airport's second runway, which faces a different direction. This resulted in some temporary air traffic over different residential areas that will move back to the primary runway when completed. The rehabilitation replaced the prior runway surface with more than 26 inches of new material, added new drainage systems, and improved runway lights and signage. The $11.4 million project used $587,000 in local T-SPLOSH transportation sales tax funds. The remainder came from state and federal funds. In December, athens Clark County hosted its annual Stuff a Bus Food Drive benefiting the Food Bank of Northeast Georgia. The event showcased a bus decorated for the Parade of Lights that was parked at various locations throughout the county in order to accept food donations. Over 2,300 pounds of food was collected, enough to feed nearly 2,000 families. The Public Information Office produced the fiscal year 2018 annual report to highlight some of the significant programs, services, and accomplishments of the unified government during July 1, 2017 through June 30, 2018 in each of the six strategic commitments approved by the Marin Commission for FY18. The document also highlights notable awards and recognitions during FY18 as well as important facts and figures including results from the 2018 National Citizen Survey. PIO staff designed the report to be visually rich with featured photographs of highlighted initiatives and key information about them. Staff also created special infographics and other copy for use in the annual report. The FY18 annual report, designed primarily as a digital document, is available at accgov.com slash annual report as a low resolution screen version and a higher resolution version for print. The Leisure Services Department's Trails and Open Spaces staff helped reroute trails at Ben Burton Park, allowing park patrons to stay on park property. The new trail replaces an old social trail off property, hiking a loop trail through the park to include a beautiful upper ridge trail through old home sites. Improvements included cutting a new trail tread, blazing the entire trail, and posting wayfinding and off property posts. The project took over 52 staff hours and nine volunteer hours to complete. ACC Transportation and Public Works completed detention pond maintenance on seven ACC Gov owned detention facilities. The program includes the removal of trees, established vegetation, and debris from ponds and dams to ensure proper function of the ponds. Detention basins provide stream channel protection and general flood protection and can also help control extreme floods such as 100-year storm events. These basins are built during the construction of land development projects and help manage the excess stormwater runoff generated by newly constructed impervious surfaces such as roads, parking lots, and rooftops. ACCGov currently has 94 stormwater detention best management practice structures and are required to install, maintain, and inspect them. The ACC Fire and Emergency Services Department's first ever Keep the Wreath Green Challenge was designed to illustrate the issue of significant structure fires that often occur in December. The challenge uses a wreath image covered with green light bulbs. As fires occur, the green bulbs are replaced with red ones to indicate a significant structure fire. There were 17 total structure fires that took place in December with minor injuries, no fatalities, and significant damage in three of the fires. Of the fires that occurred, nine started in the kitchen, two on a porch or deck, two in the den or family room, 
one in the garage, and one in a bedroom. In future years, the fire department hopes to continue the challenge to educate residents and reduce the number of fires to keep the wreath green. Thank you again for watching Snapshot 6 and we'll see you next month.